this video, we're going to talk about the difference between an 8 inch and a 10 inch ring and pinion. Certainly, all the crate and low horsepower guys are always looking for every advantage they can find. And most of the other manufacturers have always told people that the 8 inch ring and pinion provides a huge advantage over the 10 inch in those applications. We just don't see that. Um, if you talk to us here, we're going to tell you to go with the ring and pinion that makes you most comfortable. The 8 inch ring and pinion is 2.5 pounds lighter than a 10 inch right out of the box. The 10 inch ring and pinion does have more leverage behind it being larger diameter and will turn the pinion over with less effort. So we feel that when you offset those two things, it becomes a push between an advantage with one over the other. Also, the 8 inch ring and pinion will have a shorter service life to it than a 10 inch. Uh, you're basically going to take X amount of force that your car provides for sake of a number to say 1,000 pounds of force is going through your ring and pinion and you're going to either dissipate that energy over an 8 inch ring gear or a 10 inch ring gear. Obviously the larger ring gear will have a less concentrated amount of impact on it per square inch. So it really just becomes a personal preference. I have people in the print classes and low horsepower stuff that run just as well with the 8 inch as they do with the 10 inch. There's no free lunch. Each one has a benefit, a plus, and a minus. Also keep in mind your 8 inch is going to slow down faster. Your 10 inch is going to carry momentum better. So if you're looking for more of a Jake brake effect, your 8 inch is going to provide that. If you are looking to carry momentum and continue moving inertia forward, then your 10 inch is going to be a better option. So both ring and pinions have quality features to them. Uh, both ring and pinions are capable of winning any race and it really does just come down to a personal preference. When talking about the crate and lower horsepower classes, even though that we don't see a difference between the 8 and 10 inch ring and pinions, everyone is still always looking for an advantage. Uh, we do offer gun drilled lower shafts that will save 0.8 pounds. Again, don't expect to see a huge difference. You're not going to run a different gear with it. You're not going to feel it in the seat. Uh, it's just another way of getting to the same place for someone who's looking to leave no stone unturned. The lower shaft diameter is one and a quarter inches, so the same point eight pounds on a one and a quarter inch diameter uh, lower shaft is not going to be an earth shattering change to your program. Uh, bearings is the next thing that people always ask about. Many of the other manufacturers suggest using a rim polished bearing. Uh, we preferably here do not like the rim polished stuff. Uh, anytime you polish something, it's done basically in a small media. Uh, to get every roller in a bearing polished, you have to obviously have very, very small media, and it's always a concern that the uh, media gets taken totally out of the bearing at the end of the process. We're always a little bit worried about contamination to the bearing and residue that's left behind. Our suggestion would be to look at ProGlide treated bearings. Uh, we use the ProGlide treated service here. We've used other services throughout the years, Micro Blue, RF85. They all provide good service and do have a benefit to them uh, in reducing friction and also running cooler. We choose to support ProGlide because they are a local company here in Pennsylvania and we try to support Pennsylvania companies. But we will see uh, bearing uh, life increase as well as lower operating temperatures and friction reduction if using those bearings. So if you're looking for some way to possibly get an edge on your competitors, we would highly recommend that in a lower horsepower or even a higher horsepower application, uh, you'll see the same benefits.